welcome back to my channel it's Sarah and I'm here with another perfume video I am obsessed with vanilla perfumes and it seems like y'all are too because every single time I post anything about vanilla y'all go crazy so I'm here with a few warm sweet perfume wrecks mainly vanilla based so if you like smelling edible you like smelling like a dessert then just keep on watching I actually don't know where to start mm -mm. let's start with the newest one okay this is called Frustration by Totley Durange and I had to save the packaging because it is absolutely stunning. I actually tested out a sample of this pre-launch and as soon as I snipped it I was in love and it actually sparked the idea for this whole video. I was like, oh my god. I'm a sucker for presentation. It's so pretty, so luxe. So when I open this you guys are literally going to throw up, eat it, throw up again, pass out, and then come back to life. This is what it looks like. Isn't that so stunning? It looks like a prism or something, like it's on stage. And I'm normally not one to keep boxes unless they just absolutely wow me. And this is one that's absolutely wowing me, you guys. <laughs> but let's talk about the actual fragrance. Frustration is a unisex scent. And I actually think it lanes more masculine, which I really like. But this is a nutty, woody, boozy vanilla. And I really like that it is nutty. When I think of warm and cozy, I'm thinking of this scent. Like I said, this is what made me want to do this whole video. It's creamy, it's smoky. It's like you're sitting in front of a fireplace on your winter getaway, drinking spiced rum. And I absolutely love this. Plus the bottle is so gorgeous. The notes in this perfume are vanilla absolute, vanilla jungle accord, cinnamon, chestnut, rum, cumin. And when I saw cumin, I was a little bit like, mm, because I'm not one to like those adventurous notes or like those really like savory peppery notes. And I know that cumin is literally used when you cook chili. So I was like, mm. but you don't get the cumin at all. It really does smell like roasted chestnuts, creamy vanilla, and rum. There's also bourbon vetiver in here, and I'm actually not a fan of vetiver, but it comes across really, really pretty in this scent. I got a lot of compliments when I'm wearing this, which is always a plus because although I wear my perfume for me, like I love when other people like it, like, oh, I think I smell good. So if you want something that's very warm, very smoky, just a touch masculine, you're going to absolutely love this. I've been going crazy with this scent. I feel like it's so winter. This is like a true wintry vanilla. The spices in here, like cinnamon, almost remind me of like a chai. If you wanted by the fireplace to be more like smooth roasted chestnuts and not that burnt campfire mess, I feel like you would really like this because I'm also like a by the fireplace hater and I feel like this is what it should have been. So if y'all wanna try this out, there are samples available at Twisted Lily. You can get extra money off site-wide with code Sierra 10 That's where I got my sample and I'm absolutely in love. Hopefully y'all love it too. So next is one of my favorite vanillas of all time. It is Escapade Gourmand by Mesa Mataha. There's been so much rave and ramble about this on TikTok. And I was like, I have to get my hands on it because it sounded like everything I want. And I feel like if you want a true vanilla that's creamy, it's long lasting, this is what you need to have in your rotation like immediately so clearly from my massive collection you can tell that i'm not a signature scent type of girl but this scent made me seriously reconsider y'all can tell from the dent just how much i love this and this was done in like a week i think i have like 60 perfumes for me to do this means a lot especially in the amount of time i literally always want to wear this it smells seriously so edible the notes are vanilla black sugar tonka bean musk and the toasted black sugar gives it this yummy creme brulee vibe and the tonka bean gives it a little bit of depth normally when there's tonka bean in a scent i am all over it like it's just something about that tonka this is an x straight to parfum so it lasts a super long time because there's a greater amount of oils in this fragrance and it's really hard to find a long lasting vanilla scent because vanilla is so light. But I have hoodies that I've worn about a month ago with this scent on them still. Like they're in my closet and I can smell this perfume on it. So this is extremely long lasting. It smells incredible. This will have you smelling like a rich, creamy vanilla custard. It's literally so yummy. I cannot put it into words. It doesn't smell like a basic vanilla. It really does smell like creme brulee, like something rich and decadent. While this was in transit to be delivered to me, I was looking up reviews on Fragrantica because I always do that when I have like an incoming scent. And people were comparing this to pink sugar and I don't understand like how you can make that comparison. They smell nothing alike. This smells like 
rich creamy vanilla like a can of vanilla frosting and pink sugar smells like strawberry cotton candy and licorice and they just don't compare at all like I don't understand so if you were skeptical about that and you maybe heard that I'm here to dispel the rumors they smell nothing alike this is the best vanilla that I have in my huge collection like this is one that I'll always be purchased and one day when I maybe don't have this many this will probably end up being my signature scent for life because it's just like an anytime any place like any season sort of smell it's just like rich vanilla you can't go wrong I got this bottle off of lucky scent they actually sent it to me and they offer samples I believe their samples are like five or ten dollars you can actually get a discount on this bottle you can get 10% off with code zero ten hopefully when this video goes up it's still in stock because I really want everybody to be able to try this it's just so good next up this is not a vanilla but I think this is one that I should just include in this video because it is a nice warm wintry type of scent it's called cacao porcelana by atelier materi I'm obsessed with this packaging i love a good minimalist bottle this has a gorgeous bronze dusted concrete cap and it just sits so pretty on your perfume tray or on your vanity less is more sometimes and i love the little detail i feel like that's just enough so from the name this is obviously a chocolate fragrance there aren't many chocolate fragrances out there or at least in my collection this isn't your typical like sweet milky juvenile candy like chocolate this is like a very mature sexy sultry boozy type of dark chocolate and i'm kind of obsessed this has notes of white cacao powder that tonka bean note that i love so much sandalwood there's rum there's tobacco so it's a little bit smoky it has a lot of depth and it just smells expensive like if you wear this people are gonna be like oh she she knows a thing or two it's such a rich fragrance it's dark and it's very sensual this is for someone who is very bold this scent gives me a sort of tom ford vibe because of the earthiness and i just find this to be a confident alluring scent this also lasts forever and i got it off of twisted lily this absolutely screams winter like i just want to put on a fur coat or like go skiing or something it's giving grown women we need like two sprays of this it is very strong but it's such a nice sort of dusty dry chocolate it's not super sweet but i love mixing this with escapade gourmand sometimes to make it sweeter this is a really good one for the cold weather this is a really good one for nighttime i think this is really elegant and sophisticated and this is for someone who likes gourmands that aren't like super in your face sweet you can also sample this down below i'll leave a link for y'all if you want to check it out next is my baby angel share i feel like a lot of people know about this but i wasn't really like super into it until just recently this scent goes so crazy actually it's just too good i wrote this all about presentation i love this packaging this bottle design is a cute little play on a glass of cognac and i just love it i think it's adorable so the notes in this fragrance are cognac praline tonka bean oak vanilla cinnamon and sandalwood so this is a really like <sighs> okay let me compose myself i'm really not trying to be dramatic it's it's really just that good like i'm trying to tell you this is like a boozy sweet spicy vanilla this is one of my favorite going out fragrances or like date fragrances because i always get complimented on it i actually wore this when i was going out with one of my girlfriends and she was like what do you have on and i was like oh it's called angel share like i'll send you a picture of it it's so good she's like yes like you smell amazing like i need to go get that tomorrow like that smells like it smells like the fall time she literally went out and bought it is obsessed she's always telling me how people compliment her on this also and her mom smelled it on her loved it so much and went out and bought it and she was like girl you really put me on when you told me about angel share so now i'm here to put you guys on because it really is that good this is what everyone says but it's true it smells like warm cinnamon rolls you definitely smell the cognac you smell the praline it smells like straight up brown sugar the oak is really nice makes it nice and woody that tonka bean that i love so much is in there so it makes it a little bit deep overall this is a really nice like flirty boozy sweet scent that i think is amazing for fall winter it definitely is alcohol heavy at the top i just sprayed it on and i really am smelling that cognac note but i also smell a lot of the praline it's so nice i just smell like a jazz club and like cinnamon rolls it's one of my go-to scents right now and i feel like if you're a gourmand girly next is a new scent in my collection kind of but not really this is commodities milk 
bulb. I have a few commodity scents and commodity offers different scent spaces which are basically different scent concentrations. They have expressive which is like a standard version, bold which has more amplified notes and then a personal which is more like a skin scent. I just got the milk bold. I do have the expressive and I love it. I included it in a lot of my videos last year because it was really one of my favorite scents but I think I might like this bold version even more. Commodities milk smells like fluffy marshmallows, that sugary milk at the bottom of your cereal bowl. This is one of my comfort scents. I love wearing this before bed. It just makes me feel like I'm on a little marshmallow cloud. It's very soothing. This bold version in particular has notes of marshmallow, milk, molten amber, firewood. What's different about this bold version from the expressive is that firewood, and I think the firewood adds a really nice warmth. It gives me more of a roasted marshmallow vibe. Also on this one, the longevity is crazy. This is a very sweet, sugary scent. It's sweet, it's woody. It almost has a cold vibe to it. It's not like a very spicy scent. When I smell this, I just want to snuggle up. This would be a great Netflix and chill scent. This scent literally makes me want to make a cup of Starbucks hot chocolate with extra whipped cream, hop in my bed in my Snuggie, and watch Girlfriend rerun with like a good vanilla candle burning beside me. That's that's the vibe. If you like Killian Princess, this is very similar. Like they're not dupes by any means, or maybe like 60% similar. But if you like Killian Princess, you would for sure like Commodities Milk. Last but not least is my forever favorite. Cosmerati Lyra. This is actually my number one most complimented perfume. It's just so like yummy, edible, delicious. It's the warm, gooey caramel and the cinnamon that just makes it so addicting. The blended notes do raise some eyebrows. If you go on fragrance fair, you're gonna be like, because that's what I was like. I saw blood orange, then I saw liqueur, and then I saw lavender, and then I saw licorice, and I was like, what's going on here? But honestly, everything is so well blended together. I don't get any of that whatsoever. You only smell the citrus, the vanilla and the cinnamon and it smells like a warm vanilla pound cake drizzled with warm caramel this is my most edible smelling perfume like my truest gourmand perfume if you love gourmands this is something for you to look into like yesterday there are samples available at twisted lily of course that's how i fell in love with this because i was sampling around and I was like, oh my god, this is too good. This is actually one that I do gatekeep because I just love it that much. Or they're like, what do you have on? And I'm like, uh, uh. girl, I, I don't even remember what I picked up for real. This is one of those scents that just lingers in the air and leaves such a yummy, sweet trail. It's inviting, it's attention grabbing, it's warm. It'll literally want to make you take a bite out of yourself. This is a pretty heavy scent, so I love how it performs in cooler weather, but I actually wear it year round. I just pair it with the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream and smells amazing. I'm always getting stopped in public whenever I'm wearing this perfume. People always wanna know what I have on. And this is one that I will forever repurchase. And I feel like if you wanna splurge on yourself, especially for the holidays, why not treat yourself to this? So speaking of holidays, it's time to start shopping for some gifts. So I have three gift options that are pretty affordable and they're also perfume related. Let's just hop right in. These are really good gifts for a friend or yourself. Personally, I would buy this for myself. First is this perfume discovery set from Wilhelm Perfumery. It comes in their signature deep yellow textured packaging just like the full-size perfumes and a good selection of most of their scents. This one comes with Morning Chess, Dear Polly, Mango Skin, Room Service, Basilico and Fellini and Poets of Berlin. All of these are amazing. My favorite is Mango Skin. This is the one that I have a full size of and it's stunning. It's like a ripe mango flesh red wine, pink sugar. It's delicious. It smells like a tropical vacation in a bottle. Dear Polly is a really pretty black tea scent. Room service is a crisp, clean scent with notes like blackberry, mandarin orange, orchid, and musk. It's so pretty. But this perfume set would be a great stocking stuffer or a gift, and it's under $40, plus you get the additional 10% with that code, it's Dear 10 I'll leave this link down below as well. If you have somebody bougie in your life, you cannot go wrong with a luxury candle. I feel like a good luxury candle is so chic, and this one is like a piece of art. Oh my god, I can smell it right now. This is the Keith Herring Red Heart with Gold candle. It is so beautiful. I think this is a gorgeous piece of decor. 
Because it smells amazing. This smells like a juicy caramel apple. And I feel like this would liven up any space, especially if they're into aesthetics. Lastly is another perfume sampler set. And although I love the Wilhelm one, I'm probably going to be using this one a lot more just because I love deeper, sweeter scents. This is from Hermetica. It looks like a book and it comes with seven scents. Hermetica makes clean and alcohol-free perfumes and all of their scents last 12 hours on me because it is alcohol free and they're all moisturizing you open it up so pretty also tells you more about each of them in this little booklet this one comes with source one rose fire jade 888 sandal sun vanille nights amber bee and vertical oud sandal sun sort of smells like nutella there's sandalwood hazelnuts and cocoa when i sprayed it i immediately fell in love vanille night is a delicious vanilla and jasmine scent and it reminds me a lot of the bomb dia bright cream from sol de janeiro but just a little bit deeper so if you're a fan of that bomb dia bright line then you would really like vanilla night and vertical oud is an oudy scent that's not too mature smelling because i have been wanting to get into oud and it's just hard for me to find one that i feel like isn't too grandma smelling and that one's not grandma smelling whatsoever everything that i mentioned in this video will be linked down below i feel like these are great gifts great stocking stuffers and each vial is like the perfect size to throw in your purse and it's just fun to like play around and try new things and these sets won't break the bank that is all for this video you guys i hope that you enjoyed i feel like everybody needs to have a starting lineup for each season so that's like my starting five or six so hopefully y'all drew some inspiration or found something that y'all want to try if y'all have any recommendations for me please drop a comment because i'm always wanting to try new perfumes especially gourmands i'll see y'all next time bye